A mindset shift cannot take place until you feed your mind something different. What's up, ladies? It's Coach Whitney K here, your virtual personal growth and mindset coach. And March is all about mindset. And today, I'm talking about how to shift your mindset. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over, but expecting different results. If you are going to get anything out of life, you are going to have to start making small steps daily. I'm not talking about making some drastic change that's going to automatically make you a successful person. I'm talking from experience that in order to start making changes that will last in your life, you have to start taking daily steps in order to shift your mindset. One of the things that I know to be true is that what you do on a daily basis determines how your week is going to go, how your month is going to turn out, and then and that turns into an entire year. And that's how so many people end up in the same place at the beginning of the year, year after year after year. Because we're not taking those small steps daily. You're not gonna wake up and be successful or have the life or the things that you want if you're not making steps towards it on a daily basis. Life. Um, mindset is really defined as your beliefs, your approach to life, the way you think about things, the way you perceive things, the way you take action. It determines what you do and how you do it. So you really have to evaluate the type of mindset that you have because that's going to determine how you go about accomplishing your goals and becoming this person that you really want to be. So you may be, so you may still be wondering, how does this relate to me? My mindset is okay. How do I know if I need to change my mindset? I'm going to hit you with a few signs of an unproductive mindset. Sign one, you're more focused on what you don't have rather than how you can get the things that you don't have. So, oh, I don't have this, but never really coming up with a way to get those things. Number two, taking on the drama and stresses of other people. Things that other people are going through that you know about, um, stress that other people have that you don't necessarily have. You focus on that and you start to allow that to impact your world. It may not even be something that you're dealing with, but it has the potential to distract you, to get you in a mindset where you can't grow or you're not willing to keep pushing forward or you know see a different perspective because you're consumed by the drama and stresses that other people have when you have the ability to do something different. Number three, unsatisfied with life, but you've taken no real steps to do anything different, to get a better life. Complaining about it, but not doing anything about it, or not trying to figure out how to do something about it. Being in that mindset of being the victim. Oh, I don't have this, or I don't have that, but not trying to determine how can you get that? How can you move to that next phase in your life? Figuring it out, reading, watching YouTube videos, surrounding yourself with people who are already there. Having a mindset that just keeps you there is unproductive. And then the fourth thing is that you just don't like the truth. You're not willing to accept what's really going on. Some of your decisions that you may have made that have gotten you to this point in life. So you don't ever really evaluate what you've done to end up in this position, which means you're probably going to keep doing the same things, getting the same results. So if you heard yourself in any of those mindsets, it's okay because you can still change that mindset. In order to start changing your mindset, you have to become more self-aware, which means being aware of how you're thinking, aware of how you're talking, aware of what you're doing. You're not just living every day haphazardly. You know what you're doing, and I'm aware that I'm wasting time watching five shows in a row when I could be studying or I could be working on my business. Being more self-aware about your thoughts, how you're talking to yourself, how you're stressing, one way that you can shift your mindset is looking at challenges as a natural part of life. They are going to happen. Challenges are there to be figured out and overcame. That's one of the things that I try and think about. When I'm struggling or something is hard for me, what can I watch? What can I take in to give me some more insight or more perspective on how I can grow in that area? And that's in my relationship with my husband, my friendships, work my business, anything that I'm doing, challenges are going to come and I have accepted that as a natural part of life. So I don't quit when things get rough. I just figure out how to overcome it. And that's a mindset that I've developed over time because in the past, I would just, okay, I'm giving up. I guess that means that I'm gonna have to get a divorce. I guess that means that I'm just not going to be successful. I might as well quit. That's the old mindset that I had, but I had to shift that in order to start having a better marriage, having better relationships, getting somewhere in my business, not just giving up. The second thing that you can do to shift your mindset is focus on improving yourself. 
One of the hardest things that I have had to do is to understand that I cannot change people. I cannot change people. People can't change me. So if I focus on myself, what can I do in this situation to grow? What can I do to handle people better, to deal with people better? That in turn helps me to not be so stressed when things don't go my way and when people aren't acting or doing what I want them to do or what I think they should be doing. How can I grow? How can I become a better person? How can I become a stronger person and deal with people that I might find difficult? Focus on yourself, focus on growing, becoming more patient. Focus on becoming a better mother, a better wife, a better, a better employee. Whatever it is that you have in your life, focus on yourself. Instead of worrying about changing your boss, how can I change to make this situation better? You have to be creative in growing yourself so that everything doesn't throw you off, discourage you, and keep you from growing and having a stronger mindset. The last thing that you're gonna have to do in order to shift your mindset, and I think is the most important, is to transform your mind. Get more knowledge, different philosophies, more perspectives. If you don't put anything else, any new information or knowledge into your mind, what will you pull from when struggles come, when challenges come, when difficult people come? if you're not getting different perspectives from gaining more knowledge. I'm always talking about Jesus and my faith and that's one of the things that I heavily rely on because when all the self-help books don't work, when all of the motivational videos and the encouragement um, isn't there from the people who are closest to you, I have to rely on my faith. I have to rely on God that he didn't bring me here just to let me fail or he didn't bring me to this situation just so I would give up and stop trying to accomplish the mission and the purpose that he gave me for my life. My faith is that knowledge and that transformation. I'm trying to learn knowledge that's going to help propel me forward even when things are hard and it gives me a foundation for who I want to become. Because in order to be a better person according to God and, and what I believe, I have to have some type of guidelines. And that comes from me reading my word and understanding my word and understanding what he expects of me. So that is my way of getting more knowledge and reading books, listening to people, taking courses, finding people who are where I want to be and learning from them. You have to get more knowledge inside your mind or else the same you, the same knowledge that you have been using over all these years is all you have to pull from. You are not going to improve your life any more than you already have by holding on to the same knowledge that you have right now by not growing, by not feeding your brain. You are going to stay where you are. So you have to please, please, please find more knowledge, become a wiser person, grow. And if you start to do just those three things, you will see an amazing amount of change in your life. And I know this from personal experience. Things don't move me like they used to. People don't move me like they used to. I'm human, I get frustrated, but at the end of the day, my mindset is now, how can I overcome this? How am I gonna get through this? So when those tough times come, that mindset kicks in and it encourages me. And I hope that you will find something that does exactly the same thing for you because that is how we are gonna become intentional about becoming the women that we want to become. The the last thing I wanted to say is that uh, statistics show that only about 8% of people actually accomplish their goals. The other 92%, they set goals, but they don't figure out how to get to them on a daily basis with small wins. I don't want that for you. Don't be in the 92% become a part of the 8%. Even if it's not on a grand scale of goals, whatever you have set for yourself, become the 8% of accomplishing that goal. Do not give up on yourself. Do not quit. Do not let any obstacles or emotional or mental blocks or mindsets keep you from growing into the person that God put you on this earth to become. And when you start to do that, when you develop that mindset, anything is possible. And I believe that with all of my heart. Let's shift our mindsets. Let's go.